Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. So in this week's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I plan out my fly lady routines throughout the week. I'm really excited to make this video because one thing that really held me back from starting the fly lady program is that I just assumed that I had to be this extremely disciplined person in order to follow the system. I just assumed that it was going to be too hard for me to keep up with. Um, like I said, that it required a lot of discipline and a lot of focus. And this is just because I didn't know about the system and I didn't know how the system, like how it would interweave into my life. And so um, I hope that this video will show you guys how simple the program is and how little time I devote to cleaning each week. Hey guys, so due to some difficulties with uploading, I had to break this video down into three parts. If you're watching part three of three, if you want to see the rest of the videos, make sure you click the link down in the description box below. All right, so the last category of things that we do are is the basic weekly plan. So here you can see how I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. And each day has a specific focus. So on Monday, I do my desk day. Tuesdays, I have anti-procrastination day, so things that don't have a deadline, but that's really important that still needs to get done. Um, Wednesday, I do my meal planning. Thursday, I do, I make, I try to make sure my clean, my fridge, I do something in my fridge so I can inventory and kind of keep it nice in there and get ready for shopping or my errand day. So all the tasks that are outside the home, I do that on Friday. On Saturday, I try to make sure I have one item that's related to self-care. And then on Sunday, I do something that's related to family fun. Now, this is not the proper fly lady system, okay, you guys? Um, I have made modifications. On proper fly lady, they have their um, weekly home blessing. They do that on Monday. And so they do all of their cleaning tasks and they get those, their weekly cleaning tasks and they get that done. So I've had to make modifications that fit my life. And maybe my days don't make sense for you guys. Feel free to adjust this so that it works for you. And so um, what I try to do is I try to have, I look at my to-do list and I try to sort out my to-do list for the best day that it fits under. For example, I need to look at my budget. And so I decided that I'm gonna do that on a Monday because that's when I do all my paperwork, that's when I make phone calls, that's when I do all my administrative type of things. So that is my one task that I need to focus on and get done. And so you see all this time in my day where I'm not cleaning. So basically I have all day to figure out how to squeeze this into my day. Um, if the babies love me, I'll try to get it done first thing in the morning because I don't like seeing anything on my to-do list. <laughs> if they don't want to cooperate, I'll do it during their nap time. Maybe after lunch, they'll have some play time and I can try to do a little bit there. Maybe I can do it when they're sitting down eating their snack. Maybe I can do it during play time after their snack. This is bath time, so I'm probably not gonna do it during bath time. Or maybe I have to do it after everybody goes to sleep and I have that time to focus. So that's what it, that's what the beauty of the program is, is like, since I'm not gonna be spending all day cleaning and just being reactive and thrown this way and that way, I surely can find 10 to 15 minutes to focus on my budget at some point in the day. And so whenever I am planning out my week, I really try to make these realistic. I look at my to-do list and I'm like, okay, I have all these administrative tasks that need to get done and I will just pick one or two. I will pick what I realistically know that I can squeeze in my day. Anything else that's related to desk day, if I can't get it done this Monday, I roll it over to the next week and I put it on next Monday. So I know that, for example, let's say, for example, I had to renew my car tags. I'm not going to do it this week because this week I'm focusing on my budget and that's all I can reasonably squeeze into this day. So I'm going to put it in my planner. I'm going to handle that next week on Monday. And then if I still have more stuff on my to-do list, then I'll trickle it over to the next week, you guys. And so that's this is the method that really just made my to-do list disappear is assigning um, tasks to specific days and giving myself all day to get it done or squeeze it in the best that I could. So I have these two phone calls here and I put them on my anti-procrastination day because I was supposed to make these two phone calls last week and I did it. So I'm like, okay, I really need to buckle down. It is really hard to skip something when the day is called anti-procrastination day. So um, yeah, so I have these two phone calls that I really need to make and what ultimately may happen is maybe, you know, these phone calls require, require peace and quiet. There's a good chance I'm gonna be on hold for a long time 
and when I do talk, I need to be able to focus. So there's a good chance that I'm going to try to do this during a nap time. And if I can only make one call, there's a good chance that that second call will get rolled over to next Tuesday, which is another anti-procrastination day. And I'll make the other call then. But I really am going to strive to get both of them handled today. But um, like I said, I just realistically list what I could possibly get done during the cracks and crevices in my day and if I don't think I can realistically do it I roll it over to the next week um Wednesday for me I like to try to have a meal plan I'm not the best at doing this this is a goal that I have and I just need to put all my energy and effort into this and so I strive to do it but I don't get it done every week and so um but once again that's my main focus for the day so I'm gonna look and think when would be a good time for me to do that so I know my son has a doctor's appointment that day so would it be best for me to do it in the morning before I go meet the kids I really like to do my YouTube stuff here would it be a good idea for me to try to do it when the babies are playing during these times or should I just wait until the evening when I have peace and quiet and get that done okay this is a little note that I have um, we have some family coming over, so I just made that little note for myself. But Thursdays, I like to clean out the fridge so I know that what we have and what we need in order to get ready for grocery shopping. Once again, I 15 minutes. I do what I can in 15 minutes, and I don't even do it every week. I strive to, but sometimes I just don't get to it. But 15 minutes. Just do something with the fridge for 15 minutes, and it just helps me out so much, and it keeps my fridge from getting built up. And then Fridays, I have errand day. And so all the things that are outside of the home, I try to list here. Usually gas and check the mailbox is something that I try to do every week. And, you know, this scheduling this on Friday has really helped me out so much because I was that girl who would wait until my gas tank got to eat to go fill up. And now I don't do that with coronavirus, the coronavirus quarantine. I haven't had as many problems. Like I don't need to fill up my gas as often as I used to. But having this incorporated into my week has saved a girl a lot of drama. Let's just say that. So anyway, um, yeah, so all the things that are outside the home, I need to do it on this day. What I used to do is I used to have grocery day on a whole separate day from errand day. I used to do like grocery day here. And then, but I decided that now I'm capable of handling the groceries and any other errand that's outside the home. And I can do it all on the same day without being overwhelmed uh, because now I don't have to take my kids with me. Since my husband is home, he can stay home with the kids. So I can get more done on that day. So anything that's outside of the home, I will make sure that it fits on my to-do list on this day. And then, like I said, I have the whole day to figure out where to squeeze it in. Typically, I go when the girls are taking their nap. And uh, that's how that goes. And then, so Saturday, I have self-care day. Usually, I try to squeeze in one thing that's just for me, that rejuvenates me, that refreshes me. Most of the time, my husband lets me have a couple of hours here to just be alone, be quiet, take a nap, read a book. Like So I usually take this time, these couple of hours for myself, and my husband will stay at the babies. So that's what I usually do. Um, so self-care day. Maybe I might want to go to the salon. I've done that before. There have been times where I'm like, I'm just going to go shopping or I'm going to go hang out with a girlfriend. And so I try to schedule at least one thing that is just for me to rejuvenate my spirit. And then for family fun day, I don't know about you guys, but before Fly Lady, I used to have the hardest time like feeling motivated to bake cookies and make muffins and do all the crafts and arts and stuff. Because like, I just, I don't know, I'm just not naturally motivated to do that stuff. Maybe because I just, I was so tired and pulled in every direction. So this day has really been a blessing for us because it really encourages me to make family memories with my family at least once a week. Like if I can show up and do more with them throughout the week, great. But if nothing gets done, if life is too crazy, too busy, too hectic, I know that on Sundays, if my kids say, mom, can we make those brownies? I'm like, sure, because I know that I'm supposed to put something on my to-do list every Sunday. And then I'll find the best time to squeeze that into our day on Sunday. So I want to talk about a couple of what ifs before I go ahead and close this video out. So what if you can't get to your morning routine? What if my life is too busy? What if something's too crazy? What I have found is by doing my routine three times a day, if I miss one, it's pretty forgiving just make sure that you don't miss twice <laughs> or it starts to get crazy. Um, but yeah, like because I do the dishes so often, like I said, how many dishes do you really accumulate between 
breakfast and lunch. For me, it's not very many. So if I miss that, it's no biggie. I just have to make sure that I hit it in my evening routine. It might be a little more work than normal. It may take even a few extra minutes, but um, if I'm doing it more often than I'm not, I find that it works out. What if I miss my weekly home blessing task? For me, if I miss one week of changing the sheets or even wiping the toilets, all I'm saying is I've done worse. So I just move on. If it's bothering me that much, like the toilets are really grimy, um, in my previous video, um, survival cleaning hacks for busy moms, I talk about how I make cleaning the toilets so easy. So if it's bothering me that bad, if I have downtime, I will just quickly knock it out and move on with my life. Same thing with the vacuuming, dusting. If I miss a week, I just move on. That's that's what I do. Like I give myself so much grace because if I, like before Fly Lady, I could easily miss two or three weeks of doing this stuff. So I just move on. And then the next question, what if I miss out on zone cleaning? If you skip zone cleaning for a week, zone cleaning to me helps me move forward and makes gets me closer to the goals that I have for my home. But if I miss them, they do not bring me back or hold me back in any way. Um, skipping these routines will, they make my life harder, but not skipping your zone cleaning. So if I miss one, so what? Like I'll catch up next week, it's gonna be okay. Um, so don't get too down on yourself if you have, are having a hard time getting it in. And um, well, like I said earlier, the more often that you can get your zone cleaning in, the faster you'll notice your home will revolutionize. But for me, this is what's working. I have to be at a slower pace because of my toddlers. And then up here with my daily focuses, what if I miss? Like I said, if you need to, like if it's something that's kind of needs to be, that's time sensitive, catch up on a, on a um, softer, softer day. <laughs> catch up on a day that's a little slower and that's a little easier. Like, you know. But um, if you don't need, if it's not time sensitive, just roll it over to the next week. And so um, I hope that you guys, like I said, can see how reasonable this is, how realistic this is. This does not require a super amount of discipline. Look how much free time I have on my day. And I say free time, what I really mean is time to chase my kids and be with my kids and be present with my kids and do other stuff that's not cleaning. And it's like once you have a good system in place that helps you maintain your home, keep things from falling apart that helps you get those weekly tasks in, in a reasonable way. So like I said, 15, 10 minutes per task. And that helps you with your decluttering projects and helps you with your deep cleaning and helps you make progress on those. Like you don't need to be cleaning all day to get stuff done. Like this stuff, it will build up and it will just get better and better and better over time. And then like your routines, since they're pretty much the same thing over and over and over again, what you'll notice is that after like a month, or maybe two months, this stuff will be so like routine. You'll be counting two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you'll just kind of go into this autopilot pilot mold mode. Whereas before, maybe you struggled with the dishes, you struggled with the laundry. Now you'll be on autopilot and you'll just be knocking that stuff out. And so um, I just hope that you guys can see, like I said, how little time I spend cleaning. I hope that you guys can see how realistic it is to get this stuff in. Um, you know, and if you kind of do a little bit of planning in advance, it's just going to make your life so much easier and it will pretty much slow down the pace of your life, um, so that you're getting stuff done without feeling like rattled and overwhelmed all the time. And like I said, using this method up here, this y'all, my to-do list, I don't even keep to-do list anymore because as soon as something comes in, like, oh, you need to do this, you need, I figure out what's the best day to handle it. And then I plug it in. And like I said, if this week's too busy, it's going over into next week. And after doing this, I think it took me about three weeks. My to-do list was completely gone. Do you hear me? Gone. I actually used this method to plan out a birthday party. I wrote down a list of all the things that I needed to get done for the birthday party. And I grouped it. Um, I grouped the tasks that needed to get done. And then I figured out all the planning stuff. I made sure I did a little bit every Monday. All the stuff that I was procrastinating on, all the orders on Amazon I needed to make and arranging stuff, I made sure I did a couple, one or two things every Tuesday. And then, um, let's see, errand day. Do I need to go grab anything while I'm already out shopping? And then uh, family fun day. Usually I would spend that day talking to my kids about the party and making plans for the next week. Christmas. I used this method to plan out Christmas. I had the mo the least stressful Christmas I've ever had in my life. The most decorations I've been able to put up. The most effort. But I didn't feel overwhelming this year because I used this method. I started in 
after Thanksgiving, and I used this method to, actually, no, I think we started before Thanksgiving. We used this method to help us just do a little bit every day and to space it out and to just not feel overwhelmed. And so to me, this is my most important day. This is a, a not most important. This is an important day. This is an important day. And this is an important day. These are important too, but in terms of being productive. And so, um, yeah. So in fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to cancel this meal planning day and just say this is my weekly home blessing day because it's, it's a very... It's a little heavier cleaning, and maybe I'll move meal planning and fridge day to the same day. Anyway, I'm just talking out loud, so so maybe you can see how this system can be flexible. Just try it out and see what you like. If something is not vibing with you or something feels like sticky or like you just can't get with it, figure out how can I make it better. Don't ditch the program. Just figure out what can I do to make this work for me. So I feel like I've talked my head off, and I'm really tired, and I bet it's almost time for me to go do my morning routine. Today is Monday, so I'm going to be changing sheets and wiping toilet. You guys know what I'm going to be doing every day now. So anyway, I hope this video is really helpful for you guys. Remember, you don't have to make this hard. We don't have to be these, you know, crazy machine robots that are expected to take care of our kids and get all this stuff done. We can create a system that just works with the hecticness of our life. And this system has really been doing wonders for me. So, um, I hope that the visual representation can just see, help you see how I space it out and how I'm getting things done and how I'm just really not feeling overwhelmed like I used to feel and how I feel like I have a greater sense of control despite the crazy. So that's all I wanna talk about for today. If you guys have any questions or if there's anything that I wasn't clear on, please go ahead and leave your comments down below. And also if you're new, make sure that you subscribe for more tips and hacks and strategies for busy moms. And please like this video on the way out. You guys, this helps my channel out so much. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. That was the completion of part three. So if you want to catch up on part one and two, make sure you click the link down in the description box below.